This is your captain speaking. Please make sure you store all your loose items in the storage compartments above your head or stash them under your feet. Of course, thank you for joining us on this around the world trip as we visit each and every one of the countries that the Blackburn Rovers player has played for in the past. Now sit back, hold tight, and away we go! Right, folks, back with another video. Today, we're going to take a look at the best Blackburn Rovers player for every country around the world. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, stop what you're doing. Swallow what you're doing. Smash your subscribe button. Get your bang up date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, world football related, everything else related. We're going to go here on the Warruski. That's right. Of course, I'm here on a private jet. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's not really a private jet. It's like an easy jet, but it's American. It's just me, though, because no one else... Yeah, well, I booked it because we're going around the bloody world. That's right. I'll take a look at each and every one of the, the players that I think are the best players for Blackburn Rovers from each and every one of the countries. That's represented Rovers over the years, of course. Yes, that's right. We're going we're gonna to go back to go down memory lane and we'll get to that in just a second. Of course, a big, big shout out to the VIP Band of Brothers. That's right. We're talking about the Patreons. Thank you for your continued support behind the scenes to make videos just like these, of course. And hopefully we can do something like this for some other uh, clubs as well. But of course, we're focusing on this. I'm in the plane. So let's get into the hot seat then shall we let's get into the mix so here we go boys and girls here we bloody go i'm in my own special jet and we're going to get going straight right here right now so we're starting off at my home place in state college and now we're going off to arjun bloody tina that's right who are we talking about over in argentina well of course it can only be one well there's actually three guys from argentina that represented black and rovers but of course the, the top one for me Oh, it was a tough one. It was between Ozzy Ardiles and Franco De Santo, but I guess I went with Franco De Santo. That's right. He only played, uh, he played, what is it, 24 games for us, scoring the one goal. Some may say Mario Formico should deserve the honour for best player from Argentina. But to be fair, I'm not, I'm not taking it. Next up, of course, let's uh, get back on the plane and off we go to Australia. Now, guess what? Rovers had a fair bit, few, few fellas from Australia and this was a difficult choice. Uh, well, it might have been a difficult choice for you guys, but not for me. We're talking about Brett Emerton. That's right. There was only one realistic best Australian for Rovers, and that was Brad Evan. Luke Sneer was, of course, another fellow Australian. Of course, Robbie Slater was part of the old title winning side. But to be fair, nobody, nobody comes ever close to, uh, of course, Brett Emerton. Next up, of course, we go to the Barbados. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Who do we have in the Barbados? Give me a minute. Uh, who do we have at Barbados? Of course, there was only one ever Barbadian uh, for Blackburn Rovers. Now, this might be a bit of a controversial one, but uh, but to be fair, there is uh, Nick Blackman was the one and only Barbadian uh, for Blackburn Rovers, of course. Only played a couple of games for Rovers, so not really not really blessed with uh, with options there. But you know what? He makes the cut as the best Barbadian ever to play for Blackburn Rovers. Now, next, of course, we've got Belgium. Of course, there's only one Belgium, and he is uh, in the team right now, the Belgian national team. It is Thomas Kaminski. That's right. Get in now, my veins. That's, of course, best Belgian ever to play for Blackburn Rovers. And again, the only Belgian to play for Blackburn Rovers. Next up, of course, we have Benin. We've got a Benin. Do we even need a bother? Do we even need a bother? Well, we're going. We're going. And, of course, Rudy Gestead waits for us in Benin. Uh, the, and he's now playing his football down in, of course, uh, Australia. And he's scoring goals as well. Uh, 32, I think, something like that these days. But, of course, still a bit of a player. Uh, next up, of course, we're going on to Boazou. That's right. And guess what? Not very many. In fact, there's only one Brazilian ever to play for Blackburn Rovers and he was a bag of shite his name was Bruno Ribeiro five just five matches for Rovers crock of shite it was in the bad era as well back in 2011 we signed him um, and he was on the books for a year and a bit but he only played the five times absolutely joke uh, next up we go to Burkina Faso um, well, I should just get these in order because then I could, I could actually get get to uh, where we're, we're talking about Burkina Faso there was only one Rover that played for Burkina or that, that was from Burkina Faso or declared as Burkina was Brian Dabo of course uh, back in 2014 he's gone on to I think he's over in Italy these days still playing uh, these days so yeah Burkina Faso uh, that is Brian Dabo country then we go to Cameroon of course who remembers our Cameroon the one and only player that's from Cameroon uh, he wasn't anything special he's still playing of course a bit of controversy these days his name is Yano Songo or Yan Sonongo I think he's uh, I think he's at M uh, Morecambe these days he's got a bit of a bit of, bit of trouble these days for some of his comments uh, but yes that's that Next, I'm going to fly across country here, across the across the pond. We're going to go to Chile. And, of course, there's only one Chilean that's ever played for Rovers, not including, of course, 
uh, uh, matey boy, big bad boy, Brereton. And we'll, we can confirm that later. Uh, Carlos Villanueva was, of course, the one and only Chilean uh, back in 2008, 2009. Uh, one of those uh, South uh, South Americans that joined us in a very, very dodgy time uh, for Rovers. Next, of course, we're going to Croatia. There was only one Croatian fella as well. Again, a decent one as well. Uh, he goes by the name, of course, Nicholas Kalinic. Uh, went on to play for AC Milan and the like. We had him at a good time. Scored 13 goals for us uh, in 53 matches over a two, two years stint for us. I think he was the 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 player that uh, replaced Lewandowski after that went all wrong uh, for us. But yes, uh, that was Croatia. Next, of course, Denmark. Now, there's a couple of Danes uh, in contention for for the title of best Danish player to play for Blackburn Rovers. But for me, I think I went with Lars Jakobsen. Is that right? Yep, defender, left back. Did I go for Lars? I'm just double checking. I did. I did. It should be on the screen right about now. Uh, he played just 16 times, I think, for Rovers in competitive action. Anyway, uh, there was yeah, there was some other ones. Uh, per France and per. Pepe Edison, not the very best of the Scandinavian countries for them. And we're going to go to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, and I believe uh, the only man uh, to do that, is, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't uh, matey boy. I'm trying, I've lost it. I've lost, I don't even know. I don't even know where it is. Hang on a minute. It's in the wrong order. Of course, the one and only Democratic Republic of Congo fella was Shabani Nanda. Uh, of course, we got him from Roma, I believe. And it was back in 2006, 2007. He scored eight goals for Rovers. Uh, more of a, of, a, of a legend, really. Of course, scored goals for fun for his previous clubs, but not for us. Uh, Shabani Nanda, Democratic Republic of Congo. Then we go to Germany. I did put a tweet out for this one because it was a bit uh, a bit controversial. Uh, some say Marcus Babel. Some say Jermaine Jones. I've gone with Jermaine Jones. Of course, he, he did play for both American. America and Germany. Of course, Lewis Holtby is, of course, a German. Marcus Babel did win some, some big trophies uh, for other clubs, but Jermaine Jones was was an incredible player for us. Unfortunately, we couldn't make the deal permanent, only there on loan. Uh, next up, of course, we had the Faroe Islands. Now, there was, of course, a goalkeeper uh, by the name of bloody well L, are they? Where is it? Where is it? The bloody Faroe Islands. Of course, the goalkeeper by, I think it was Gunnar, Gunnar, what's his name? Gunnar, Gunnar Nielsen was the one and only Faroe guy uh, for Blackburn Rovers back in the day. Of course, next up, of course, we're going to go to Finland. Of course, there was there was a couple of Finns for Rovers, but really there was only one. It was Shefki Kuchi, the main man, the 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 the, the diving spin or the flying the flying fin uh, in the end for uh, of course uh, for Finland uh, going in there. Next up, we go to France. Uh, we've had uh, ten players uh, play for Blackburn Rovers from France, uh, and for me, the best one uh, was who did we go for in this one? We went for Stephen Nzonzi. It was a difficult one. Gal Jive was up there as well. Um, Yuri Jukayev really should be in consideration, but he only played three times for us um, as well. And also Anthony Modeste uh, was, a, was a bit of a blur for us as well. But to be fair, on paper, Stephen and Zonzi, 96 games. Uh, he went on to bigger, better things as well. So yeah, Stephen and Zonzi gets the nod for me over in La France. Then we go to the Gambia. Uh, let's have a look at the Gambia. Of course, just one player for the Gambia. And of course, it's everybody's favourite Gambian. Who was it? It was, of course, Mudu Baro, of course. Uh, played just five times for us. Uh, we had him on loan, I think, from Swansea. That's right. Next up over from the Gambia, we go to Georgia, the country. And, uh, of course, Zurab Kibabashili on, of course, the one and only Georgian. That's played for Batman Rovers. Uh, where is he? Zurab Kibabashvili. That's right. Legend in the, in, the, in the core. Defensive core. We need something like that. Uh, of course. Then we go Grenada or Grenada, depending on how you sound. It's not Grenada, it's Grenada. And there's only one Grenada, and that's represented for Rovers. Of course, it's Jason Roberts. Scored 28 goals for Rovers in the time. Uh, previously, we got, I think we got him from Wigan. Uh, back in, he was on our books from 2006, 2011, scoring uh, 28 goals. More of a more of a, a, a target man, you would say, for Blackburn Rovers. But uh, yes, Grenada represented. Then we go to Greece. There's been a couple of Greeks, and we've even got one on the books right here right now. Uh, but the the, the honour goes to Georges Donis. Uh, that's right. He's played, actually played games for us. Of course, Anthony, Anthony Stegnekadekis is on the books right here right now. He could be, we could have to revisit this in a couple of years' time and update it. But of course, Georges Donis gets the honour. Uh, he's only with us for a season, scoring two goals. Goals uh, back in 1996 to 1997. Uh, so yes, a game over. Next up, we got a Guinea on our, our around the world flight, and of course, there's two Guineans that play for Blackburn Rovers in the past. And I went with uh, Kabia Diawara in the end. Yeah, I went with. I plucked with him. I'm just double checking. I've got the image. Yes, I do. And of course, Bengali Fadi Koita was the other one. He actually played more games for us, but he was a bag of shite. Uh, next up, we go to Guyana. Of course, back over the pond we go to Guyana. Just one guy in iron. Uh, that's represented Blackburn Rovers. And of course, it's everybody's favourite Guyana. It's Neil Dans. Uh, only played six games for the under-23s, but it counts. It bloody well counts. And he was actually, actually a bit of a shame that we couldn't get him into the first 
first team. I thought he uh, had a, he did represent himself over the years. Still playing, I think. He's playing in Wales now. Uh, next up, we go to Ireland. Now, there's been a few Irish players over the years, uh, but really only one man stands out for the tip of the top. Now, of course, we have one. We have a couple on the books right now, or we did have anyway. Daryl Lennon, of course, there. But realistically, it goes to Damien Duff. Absolutely tremendous. Of course, went on to bigger, better things at Chelsea, uh, represent Ireland uh, for, for many, many years, of course. Yeah, good player, quality player. I think he, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he went off to Newcastle, I think, in, in the end. In the end. So, yeah, quality player for us. Uh, next up, we go to Israel. That's right. Only one Israeli. And that was uh, Yussi Benayoun. No, it wasn't Yussi Benayoun. It was Matey Boy. Ayel Berkovic. That's right. Just played two games for us, I think. Bag of shit, wasn't it? Uh, Six-month deal, something like that. Back at the end of December, January transfer window. Ayel Berkovic was the best player from Israel to play for Blackburn Rovers. Next up, we go to Italy. Five Italians playing for Rovers over the years. Who was your favourite? Well, to be fair, the only the one that gets my honour was Lorenzo Amoruso, of course. Formerly of Rangers. Uh, picked him up uh, back to 2003-2006 played just 20 times maybe injury prone uh, other ones could go into the mix there we've got uh, uh, Corrado Grabi of course only three goals to his name striker came with a big reputation of course Dino Baggio as well legend legend really but of course Lorenzo Amoruso did too much much more for the club in my eyes uh, so yes he gets the tip for the title there next up we go to Jamaica brother that's right uh, who do we have in Jamaica well who do we have we have why have we got Jamaica did we, did we skip out I think we skipped out Canada away Way back when. Uh, Casey Palmer, Ari Bell. Elliot Bennett gets the honours for me. That's right. In Jamaica, brother. That's right. Uh, now we go to Canada for whatever reason. I don't know how, how what, why we're going in in that kind of order. But, of course, uh, a couple of Canadians, four in total. Um, who do we have? Jason Latworth. I've gone, given it to Junior Hoylett. Yes, I love Junior Hoylett back there. It was very, very sad to see him go. Still playing, of course, over in Cardiff. Um, and he's still doing all right for himself as well. I don't know how old he is. Maybe in his early 30s. Uh, but, yes. Good player. Then we go to the Republic of Congo, and we know, we know, we bloody know, it is, of course, uh, Chris Samba. Of course, there's only one answer for that one. No question. Even though we've had two Congans playing for us, Samba running supreme. Next up, where do we go? We're going to Namibia. I don't know what kind of order this is, but we're going to Namibia. And there's only one. Is the Namibian Kafu. It is a Ryan Nayambi. Sign the bloody deal, brother. Sign the bloody deal. That's right. The only Namibian to play for Rovers on his own, uh, he was. Next up, of course, we've got New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand again. No questions asked. It was Matey Boy. Of course, one of my one of my favourites, one of the legends of the game. Of course, partnered with Chris Samba. It was uh, it's Ryan Nelson, of course. That's right. Back in the day, I uh, got him from DC United. Billy Bargain, it was back in 2005. 206 games he played for Rovers, scoring eight goals. Commander in chief at the back. Uh, he went on to play for Tottenham as well for a little bit. Did he play on after that? I think I think well, that was uh, I think that was it uh, for him. Next up, where do we go? Where do we go? We're off. We're off on our travels to the Nederlander. That's right. There's been five Dutchies overall played for Rovers in the years. Uh, the best one for me was Arin Andre Uya. Uh, we had a couple of bangers in there as well. Marvin Emner scored a couple of goals for us. Cameron Rekitic was a bit of a shitty. Uh, went on to be bigger and better things. Uh, Marco Rektis was a bag of shit. And Richard Bitcher was a part of the old title winning side, but only played the one game. Came with a good reputation as well. But Andre Uya gets the nod for me. 96 appearances for Rovers and scored two goals. Where are we going? Nigeria, brother. That's right. Uh, who did I pick for this one? Was it, uh, I think it was Lukaku. Not Lukaku. <laughs> it was, of course, Yakubu. That's the badger. Uh, scored 18 goals in just one season. Absolutely fantastic bargain. But unfortunately, I think that was the year we went down. So to be fair, it was, it was tainted. Uh, but of course, he was the best Nigerian to play for Blackburn Rose. The best Norwegian, of course, was the, the guy MG, Bloody P, Morton Gamps. Absolutely a talisman for the club. 343 matches, 44 goals. Absolute Bobby Dazzler. Still playing, I think, today. Uh, of course, left begrudgingly left uh, before I think he could get his, his, his testimonial in which of course was a shame we also had some other bangers in there Hunningberg as well title winner and of course you know to, 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 to get ousted to, for a title winner to get ousted uh, by of course uh, a non-title winner it goes to say something next of course we go to Northern Ireland um, I don't know about this what did I go for Northern Ireland did I pick one for Northern Ireland um I don't know. I don't know if I did, I didn't. But if not, I'm going to go off the cuff. I think I went with uh, Corey Evans. That's right. We'll go with Corey Evans. That might change. But uh, right here, right now, I can't see anybody else uh, on my pictures. Uh, so I went with Corey Evans. I don't see it. I don't bloody see it. Is there anybody else? Was there anybody else? I don't think so. Corey Evans gets the nod on this one. Next up we go. Where do we go? We're going off to Paraguay. Of course, there's only one in Paraguay. 
That's right. It's Roque. It's Roque. It's Santa Claus. It's Roque Santa Cruz, of course. Absolutely tremendous uh, return for him. 80 games for us, 29 goals. Fantastic uh, indeed for, of course, a Roque. Uh, of course, the Paraguayan representative. Best Paraguayan ever to play for Blackburn Rovers. Best Polish player. It's not Red Lewandowski, even though it should be. It should have been. It is, of course, Gregor Semedyamensky, goalkeeper for Rovers. He played eight times over the years. Um, yeah, so there you go. Best Portuguese. We've not really been blessed with them, even though we've had seven uh, Portuguese players over the years for Rovers. Well, the best one for me was Nuno Gomes. That's right. Yeah, just one goal better than Lucas Jao. Of course, Nuno Gomes is a legend. I know he came with us at bad times, of course. But uh, but uh, you know what? He's, he's, I, I love him. I love him still, even though we we did, we, we, did, we got him at this bad time. Uh, and, of course, a bad era. Uh, but still, Nuno Gomes, quality player, played for Rovers, of course. Next up, we go to where are we going? We're going to Scotland. And, of course, it's Lionheart. Of course, it's the one and only the, uh, the Scottish... Assassin, I don't know. Uh, the legend, that is, of course, title winner, Colin Hendry. No questions asked. Tremendous. Again, we've been represented by Scotland by a whole host of players. But for me, Colin Hendry was the best, if is the best, Scottish player ever to pull on the blue and white halves. Next up, we go to Sweden. That's right. And we had a couple. We had a couple from Sweden. We had eight in total. Uh, Martin Darlene, of course, I loved him. Uh, he was a much glad bag. We had, of course, recently Marcus Ant uh, Antonison as well. And, of course, the Olsen twins. But on paper, I'm going with Patrick Anderson. He only played 12 times for us, uh, for us, but he was a, a player that went on to play for Barcelona uh, and, of course, Sweden as well, winning, winning a lot, of, a lot of bling along the way. Um, you, you, that's a controversial one. You know, I did like the Olsen twins, but um, uh, they were through some dark times as well. But anyway, I'm going with Patrick Anderson. That's probably uh, to, to a bit of a cop out, but you know what? Who cares? Uh, next, we go to Swiss. Switzerland, and uh, we had a couple of Swissies. We had four in total, uh, but Stefan Acho takes the honours for me. Is that right? Yes, it is. He played in total uh, 80, uh, 91 times for Rovers, and of course went on to, to play for Liverpool as well after that. We've also had uh, Bruno Bremner in as well, so Johan Vogel as well, but they were pretty shit. Uh, next up, we have Senegal. Now, we had a couple Senegalese over the years, would you believe it, playing for Rovers? Two of them, in fact, bang on the nose. And of course, are, are both both with the same surname. It's a Geoff. Geoff wins, but which one was it? El Haj Geoff. Of course, yeah, yeah, you either love him or you hate him. Of course, he goes with a bit of a reputation. Of course, everyone hates him. To be fair, I think he was he was he was a, 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 a shit house master. He was the king of shit houses. Every all of the shit house experts these days are based off of this guy. Oh, he's a pantomime villain. But guess what? He played for Rovers, and I'm very very happy he was on our side. Uh, then of course when he was uh, against us. So yeah, uh, El Haj Geoff, no questions asked there. Uh, then we go to Serbia. We had a couple of Serbians, of course. In fact, did we have? A couple? Or do we have just the one? Um, let's have a little look. I can't see it. It's it's matey boy. Serbia, Serbia. Where are you? Well, it's it's just the one, and it is matey boy uh, Pekovic, Pekovic, something like that. Uh, Radoslav Petrovic. Yeah, played twenty four times for us. Went on to play for uh, Gibraltar Bregani over in Turkey. We got him from Partizan Belgrade again in the shit era. Not the best time for him to play for us. Next up, we have Slovakia. Now we had a couple of Slovakians. Oh, I'm going to tell a lie. We had one, uh, so it's uh, nailed on. Best Slovakian ever to pull on the blue and white shirts was Vatiflash Greshko. Of course, forty four times for us. Just out, you know, two thousand two, two thousand six. Scored two goals. Goals, left back wonder. Yes, indeed. Next up, we go to Spain, of course. What did we have for Spain? We have eight Spanish players play for background. Of course, there's only one, really. And that was, of course, Matey Boy. Of course, David Ryan, Spanish. Ruben Rochina, Spanish. But Mikel Zargado, you've got to give it to him. Of course, 73 games. Of course, one, one goal. Uh, happy days. Happy days. Love it. Love them. Still do quality player. Next up, South Africa. Only one, really, for here. Of course, there was a couple of players. Three South Africans. South African. Brother, of course, you got uh, you got Mokwena, you got uh, Errol Van Heerden was a bag of shite. But Benny McCarthy scored 52 goals in, of course, a, uh, a, a an appearance laden career with us, four seasons, or three and a bit. Uh, from Porto, picked him up for a, a bargain, going for a song as well. Uh, so, yes, Benny McCarthy, no questions asked. He takes the title for the best South African ever to play for Blackman Rovers. Trinidad, we're off to Trinidad, brother. That's right, just the one Trinidadian, of course, to play for Blackman Rovers. Who was it? Who was it, of course? It was Dwight York. Yep, 19 goals and 73 games for Rovers over a couple of years' spell following his move from Manchester United, part of 
the re-assigned uh, uh, York and Cole double, daily double. Uh, after Turkey, do we need to bother? Do we need to bother? Of course, two guy reign supreme. Over six Turkish internationals that or Turkish folks have played for Rovers. Of course, Hakan Sakur's in there. Colin Kessel Richards, you could even put into that bracket. But of course, two guy was the best player ever. Probably the best player ever to put on a blue-white shirt. Of course. And then um, we're going to move on to the United States. Do we need to bother with that one as well? There's actually been five Americanos playing for Blackburn Rovers over the years, of course. Who did we have? We had Jermaine Johnson. We had David Yudell, Roy Wegerly. But, of course, the title goes to Brad Friedel. Absolutely fantastic. 319 games as, uh, as a goalkeeper. And, of course, a goal. Who can remember, not forget the goal? Uh, then we go to Wales. All right. Tidy, brother. Who's the best, of course, Welshman? Of course, it was Craig Bloody Bellamy. Absolutely fantastic. One season wonder for us. Sold him on for a, a, a bit of a song as well. He was a bit. It was a bit like that though. You know, he kind of had him for a season. He, he moved on. He's got a. He's got some, uh, more clubs than a golf basket or golf golf bag. Uh, where are we going from here? Are we going. Is this it? No, we got the final stretch here. We got to Zimbabwe, brother. That's why right. Zim bloody Babwe. Of course, there was only one Zimbabwean. Uh, Benjani. Oh, who remembers Benjani? The best Zimbabwean ever to put on the blue and white shirts. Twenty one games, three goals for Rovers. In of course. A uh, pretty shit era of, of strikers. Uh, Montenegro, we're off. We're off to Montenegro. We're flying. We're bloody well flying to Montenegro. Who was it? Who was the Montenegro Montenegrin to play for Black Rose? He played 21 times, scoring two goals. His name was Saman Vukovic. Did he wear the mask? I think he wore the mask. It was either him or Pekovic wore a mask. Again, a pretty shitty era for players. Of course, St. Kitts and Nevis we go in now on our one-way ticket around the bloody world. St. Kitts and Nevis, we had one player for playing for St. Kitts and Nevis and it was who was it it was Raheem Hanley goodness gracious me that was congratulations to being the best St. Kitts and Nevis player still playing somewhere in the world and then we're going to wrap this baby up we're going to Guadalupe and there was two Guadalupians uh, for playing for Blackburn Rovers over the years and the title for the best Guadalupian goes to Pascal Tim Bonda that's right boys and girls and that my friends and that's where I'm going to leave you yeah right here right now on my one way flight around the world I've got to get myself back back to Pennsylvania from the Guadalupian Islands of course the, the, I didn't I didn't include England but of course the best player to play for Blackburn Rovers in the Premier League era anyway was of course Alan Shearer you can't knock his goals you can't work his ethic he's a title winner so I didn't I didn't put that on the travels because that's you know we're talking about the best well, it's in there anyway. He's, he's, he's going to be sat on the screen there with me anyway. That's it, my friends. Hopefully you enjoyed this flight around the world. Of course, we'll do it all again, maybe with some other teams. Maybe, I don't know. It's, it's a bit of a stretch. Uh, but I do I did enjoy this, this this trip down memory lane, and hopefully you did too. Uh, but until then, make sure you give the video some numbers, smash the old thumbs up, smash the old subscribe, and we'll do it all again. Something, somewhere, somehow. But until then, I'll see you all soon. Until then, <laughs> pilot, take me home. Take me bloody home. <laughs>